Hello, Internet. Yes, it's me. I don't know if you can see me or not. I can't see the back of my camera, so we're just going to do this. I'm going to unbox my new Starlink satellite Internet. We're going to try this whole unboxing and see if we can get it to work out here in the actual field. So, got what comes in the box. Dishy, wireless access point router, and then I got an app on my phone. So when I get to the point where I got to use my phone, I'm going to stop the video, work on what I need to work on, and then I'll get back to you guys and tell you what I did. So we got that. We got legs for Dishy. And we've got uh, Dishy. So let's see. It goes kind of like this. Missing. Yep, that's it. Dishy gets plugged in just like that. Dishy comes with a massive cable. So we don't need to run it very far. It's a PoE cable. I'm going to actually stick this on the roof of my car and uh, see how it goes from there. I'll lead it out. You'll see, I'm not real thrilled about that. But, and for power, we have a Blue Eddy EB240. So uh, 240. 2.4 kilowatts, 1,000 uh, watt inverter. Works really well with uh, products. I, we'll do another video another time for Blue Eddy. And get the AC power turned on. AC power's on. So next thing in the box is this little guy right here wireless access point and your router which has no other connections in it so you have to do wi-fi with this unfortunately but since i'm only going to be using it for wi-fi i gotta kind of spin one this out here don't want to pull it too much we'll put this down here plug this in and I'm probably going to have to pause the video. I know that's a close-up of my face. No one wants to see. Uh, this is going to be my primary internet out here on the land. Um, we got AC running. I don't see any lights on it yet. And I'm not seeing any wattage pulled yet. All right. So I think I'm going to need to take my phone and activate the, the device. So give me a few minutes and I will... Get back to you. These are just regulatory notices. Not a lot going on here. So I will be right back. So Dishy moved all by itself and got itself set up. I'm going to go through the app now and see if there's anything else I need to do. Well, yeah, it was a pretty easy setup. You plug in the wireless router, you set up your dish, you connect to the wireless network, you set your wireless network up, and it goes to town. It takes about five, 10 minutes for it to acquire satellites and start uh, testing itself. Um, I got initially 250 megabits download, um, upload a little slower, about 20 to 30 megabits, but I'll still test. This is just a temporary setup, so I don't know how this is going to work going forward, but it only uses 55 watts of power, so that is phenomenal. I can keep this plugged into my the Blue Eddy. Uh, that'll run, well, hell, if that's 10, that's only 554 watts in 10 hours. So that's 30 almost 40 hours i can run just this wi-fi off my blue eddy just off this small blue eddy the eb240 um i have other blue eddies that i can run that i'm gonna run the homestead on so this is not a power consumer this is fantastic i am thrilled at how little power this uses um like i said it's super easy to set up i believe it's a hundred dollars a month for service and the speeds are amazing i've got no obstructions out here at my tallest tree is probably I don't know 15 feet tall the saguaros are the tallest things out here and they're not going to be obstructions because I'm not going to put the dish next to anything that's going to next to any of the saguaros um, again super easy to set up 
they're not in beta anymore so this is the production model it's not a round dish it's a rectangular dish um, and it works great i have no problems with it and i'll probably upload these videos using this to just test that thanks so much for stopping by um like share and subscribe like everybody else says um also if you want to help the people in kentucky with their tornado problems i would i recommend going to grindstoneministries.com they're already in the field uh, fixing people's homes feeding uh, rescue workers feeding people who don't have food um, you can give money you can give uh, you can go to their Amazon wish list and order them something uh, it's just a recommendation but hope everybody has a great rest of the weekend and I'll see you later